Hello, lovely friends and family. A warm welcome back to my channel. It's a Monday, and as usual, I have this exciting recipe to share with you. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Okay, I'm doing great. So great. By God's grace, you won't believe it. So I'm going to share with you this delicious, delicious Zongo Wache Shito. Okay, one pot Zongo Wache. It is so easy to do. You, she said, you will not collect me and eat until you see this recipe or you make this recipe it is the most delicious trust me so let me share this recipe with you i am very very delighted to share this recipe with you but before then i'll encourage you to subscribe if you haven't and please like this video share and hit that bell let's get into the video now So let's go through our ingredients okay so i have some onions i have garlic i have ginger i have some chili dry chilies these are perfect for shito oh it tastes so so good okay i have my shrimps that i have made myself i have my fish powder i have my spices okay i'm going to list all the spices for you okay i have all of them the best spices you ever need for shito and i have my oil okay so yeah let's get into it okay so first of all i just wanted to show you how you can peel your easily peel your ginger okay so this ginger i brought from ghana and ghana ginger is kind of different from abruche ginger it's got this um a lot of um say branches or intricate you know corners and things like that so it's difficult to peel so what i discovered when i went to ghana is my sister will freeze them and once they are frozen and you bring them out and they defrost it's so easy to remove so all that you need to do is to use your finger to peel them off so you saw me peel some off and you see me and it's also easy to use a spoon to just clear all the skin off okay and you, you able to, you're able to use the the spoon to also take out all the imperfections okay so this is a broche ginger you see the difference yeah broche you need a spoon a knife no just a spoon and it scrapes just the skin off it doesn't scrape the food the main ginger it just gets just the food um the skin off okay and as i said you can use the spoon to remove all you don't you don't need a, a knife for this okay i never use a knife for my ginger you see that i use this you see i use a spoon to scoop all the dirty and imperfections right and if there is any dead cells or anything you see me use the spoon to scoop it off and that is it so that is um why I'm, I'm i decided to show you i mean this easy way of peeling your ginger because i know peeling ginger is always always a pain right and there's this one and look at me use a spoon to scoop it off easily like that and yeah and you're done okay so i'm going to show you again how you just peel off your um ginger with your fingers i mean the ghana one the frozen one look at how easy it is the skin just comes off like that and you peel, everything comes off it's just amazing it's just that when you're dealing with ghana ginger it's quite spicy more spicy than the abruzzo one so you if you have any gloves you can wear them so that um yeah it doesn't burn your fingers afterwards okay so now let's get into the rest of the you know preparations right so i have my shrimps or prawns okay dry shrimps right i've added it to my blender and my garlic has gone into my blender and my chilies okay i'm adding my chilies so as i said we are making one pot shito okay what that means is we are not going to add ingredients one after the other we fry um onions when we add this then we add that no that's not what we are doing okay we're going to add everything together so i've got my onions and my ginger already my onion like everything will not go into the blender right so i'm going to start blending what i have now and then as soon as you, you whiz it or you just pulse it it all breaks not all of them it just breaks down and you have a lot of space to add more 
right so yes um you see that almost like there's a lot of space now so i'm going to add my onions to blend so so once everything is blended we we'll put everything together so as you saw my fish powder i didn't i didn't use i mean like whole fish i used just the powder right unlike the shrimps okay so we'll add that one later there's no need adding it to the blender to blend okay so we're going to be adding everything and you see how i blend it so you choose how you want to blend it you can blend it for it to be coarse or you can blend it for it to be smooth right um today i was going for a very smooth consistency not a very smooth but smooth consistency like the normal shit or consistency okay so i'll blend it for a bit more okay so okay so what i did was from time to time so if you have you use a ninja blender like me as you blend it from time to time you have to go in with a spatula or anything wooden spoon or anything to push some, the ingredients down because the ingredients tend to stay um, at the top of the blender and it doesn't you know sort of blend quickly so you go in and um, from time to time if it, it it proves to be difficult to you know get everything rotating right because you're not adding water as you've just noticed or if you've already noticed or as i'm drawing your attention to right now there is no liquid there is no water no oil nothing we're just using the juices from the onions to blend okay so uh, my spices again i'm going to put everything together i'm going to blend it if you already have the ground one fine you can use it but um i don't so i'm going to use my ninja um blender to do it and when you're using um this ninja cup to blend yeah i think that's the one that can blend your spices fine what you have to do is to always take keep taking it out and shaking it right you shake it and to let the blend go smoothly okay right too much talking so in my saucepan i'm adding um my oil i was going to use a fresh clean oil but then i remembered i have this old one that i've used for frying things so i'm like let me use it it's only shit up now my behind home it's too fresh me it's still fresh on your crowd it seems to shit up sure anyway so um i added my used shit i actually shit it up i mean i don't know use oil I actually used um used it to fry kelewole so it's fine it's got spices in it so it's good anyway so I've, i'm adding my tomato puree right now okay i forgot to show that to you but i thankfully i remember to add it and now here goes in my fish powder or my herring's powder okay as i said we are adding everything so i'm going to try and mix this nicely gently without it spilling all over okay me I, I don't have heart for doing it i don't even know why i cook because i don't have a butter for anything just wait for the oil to be hot samira will never wait just a butter a butter a butter a butter a butter a butter anyway so you mix everything together right everything when i say everything you add your salt you add your spices you see spices have, have gone in now so we're going to mix it and then you let it cook trust me as you fry in this shit or you're going to love it because it's cooked so quickly so quickly plus the prep and everything within an hour your shit is ready so here goes in my salt so all that is left for you to do is to be patient and keep giving it a stir please do not abandon your post as you are frying your shit or don't abandon your post be there otherwise your shit will burn okay and stir intermittently right regularly and this is about all the splatter you get all the splatter you get it is splatterless trust me <laughs> i've seen splatter oh, you see my steel coming up splatter putu 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 sa okay look and the shito is done it's so and it tastes so so good the reason why from experience i think is the shrimps because i got the shrimps fresh and i um roasted it myself is it roasting from i just turned it myself but yes see uh-huh so the shito is looking good look at how beautiful it looks so this shito is delicious as i said i said this with wachi with kinky with banku and i eat it with rice i made the chicken and gum trust me and it's so good so thank you and i hope you enjoyed this recipe as you see you're serving it with some water and it's so good although all these things you see in this recipe in this video this particular 
bit of the video is coming to you very soon. The shit, the stew, and the watch it. You see it soon. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share. And thank you for coming to support me once again. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.